Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So today we are going to talk about a lot of transfer news and we are first going to talk about Romagnoli. According to Sport, Barcelona want to sign a left-footed center back this summer and Romagnoli of AC Milan is on the club's radar. The deal, however, will be tough to carry out given the defender's fee of 50 million euros. And so yes, Romagnoli is a 25-year-old Italian center back. And one of the few things I noticed about this defender is that he's very aggressive when man marking. And the reason why he's so good at that is because he really positions himself in a great way way which makes it very easy for him to man mark these players and he knows where these players are going to be at and that is something that Barcelona is really going to value he's not one of the fastest players in the world but because of the way he positions himself it really does help him and Umtiti and Lenglet are players who are not really experts in positioning themselves in a way where they know where the players will go so Romagnolia is a player that will cover that hole in FC Barcelona the one thing that I really do want to point out is that his market value is very expensive so his market value is 50 million euros and if we compare this defender right and we compare the price and age next to Upamecano and Luis Felipe two center backs that has been linked to FC Barcelona over the past four weeks if we were to compare those three players on who can give us the most value the best bang for our buck Romagnolia would be in third place because because he is 25 years old and he does cost 50 million euros. The second player that I will put there on the best bank for our buck would be Luis Felipe. He is the cheapest option. His market value is 22 million euros and he is only 23 years old. And the first option that I will put on the best bank for our buck, the player who can give us the most value would be Upamecano. And yes, I know his market value is 55 million euros. Five million more than Rob Magnoli but he is only 21 years old he's a very young defender and he is also almost at the same level as Rob Magnoli so let me know what you guys think about these three players who do you think would be the best option for FC Barcelona Upamecano Luis Felipe or Rob Magnoli now moving on to the next topic of the day and we are going to talk about who Barcelona has been scouting in Holland and so according to Mundo Deportivo Barcelona have put a magnifying glass on the Dutch league. They are following Baudou, Malen, and Stengs, attackers between 19 and 21 years old who have already been with Komen in the national team. So Baudou is a 19-year-old Netherlands forward whose market value is 22 million euros. Then moving on to Malen, he is a 21-year-old Netherlands forward and his market value is 30 million euros. Then moving on to Stengs, he is a 21-year-old Netherlands right wing and his market value is 22 million euros. Clearly, you can see that Barcelona is looking for talent in Holland. And the one thing that I did notice about these three players is that they are all capable of being that next number nine for the future. And that brings up a very big question. And that is, is Barcelona preparing for the failure of the Lautaro Martinez operation? Because all three of these players, again, are capable of being that forward for FC Barcelona. Barcelona. Because Barcelona's priorities is not to just sign a superstar number nine, but Barcelona's main priority is to build their next future number nine. Someone who can be the next best big world-class striker in the next two to three years. And Barcelona wants to put themselves in a position where if the Martinez operation does not work, if they cannot bring him in at all, and maybe Martinez might want to move to another club, Barcelona do want to keep their options open they do want to have multiple lanes to go to and i really do like the way barcelona is going they are looking for that next superstar number nine we are thinking ahead of luis suarez and simply we cannot just focus on just one player we have to keep our options open and this is a very important thing to do 
because if the Martinez operation does not work, we will be caught and ask ourselves, okay, who are we going to get next? So let me know what you guys think about those three players. I did not do much research on these three players. And so if you guys have watched them play, let me know in the comment sections down below. Are they good enough? Do they score goals? What are their special traits? Where, what are their pros? What are their cons? Let me know in the comment sections down below. Now moving on to the next topic of the day, and we are going to talk about Felipe Coutinho. I do want to give some quick updates about this player. And so according to Mundo Deportivo, Coutinho is close to Chelsea and he is priced at 80 million euros. So more sources are claiming that Chelsea might be able to bring in Felipe Coutinho. And we haven't heard anything from Leicester City yet. We were expecting a big bid from that club, but we haven't heard anything. And the bid at the moment for Felipe Coutinho will be 80 million euros euros originally barcelona was supposed to get 110 million for this player from from bayern munich but since it's not going to happen since coutinho has been under delivering we will be losing around 30 million euros for felipe coutinho and the best solution for barcelona to get the most from this player who is felipe coutinho would be to wait it out and expect more clubs to come in and bid for this player because felipe coutinho is a big name we know his capabilities we know how good he can be. Barcelona is aware of that. And so the best thing to do is to just wait and wait for other clubs to come in and say, we'll bid 85, we'll bid 90. And that way, Barcelona will get the most value from this player. Unless Coutinho states that he does want to move to Chelsea and Chelsea only. That is the only way we will catch ourselves with our hands up and say, okay, fine, we'll take 80 million euros for this player. Now, moving on to the last topic of the day, and we are going to talk about Lautaro. Martinez. So according to Nico Shira, who was on Twitter, he is a very credible journalist and he stated this, Barcelona have offered a contract with wages of 10 million a year to Lautaro Martinez. Bartomeu wants to sign him. El Toro is the first choice at Barcelona. So this statement right here is very different to what we heard last week. I don't know if you guys remember, but I did make a video about Bartomeu and the sporting directors, the board who whoever is in that section have different views on who they want to sign when it comes to either Neymar or Lautaro Martinez. In that video, I did explain that Bartomeu did want to sign Neymar and that the board, the sporting directors wanted to sign Martinez. But in this statement from Nico, who again is a very credible journalist, he stated that Bartomeu also wants to bring in Lautaro Martinez. And so could this be a shift in the sporting project for what Bartomeu wants to do? Could we actually see see for the first time a full agreement in the board because this is basically saying that Bartomeu is admitting and he's saying this okay fine this is not about what the players want this is more about what the club needs and Lato and Lautaro Martinez is the player to fulfill those requirements on what Barcelona will need now and for the future. Martinez will be the biggest return of investment within four to five years and he will be our foundation for the next four to five years years. Bartomeu could be thinking that. And so what Barcelona needs to do is to just bring a big offer for Lautaro Martinez. And that is what we are seeing. Barcelona is offering 10 million a year for this player. That's more than what Inter Milan wants to offer. Inter Milan wants to offer 4 million a year for Martinez. So what Barcelona is giving is double of what Inter is offering. And what gets even more interesting is that Sport is claiming that Manchester City and Chelsea are willing to match, if not give more than what Barcelona wants to offer in terms of wages for Lautaro Martinez. But what this article is claiming is that Barcelona will continue to stand out no matter how much Chelsea and Manchester City will offer in terms of wages. And that is because of one thing, and you and me know this, there is one big factor why Barcelona will always stand out for Lautaro Martinez, and that is because of Lionel Messi. Martinez will we'll see that going to FC Barcelona will give him the chance to play with Lionel Messi and not just play with Lionel Messi, but to conquer Europe with Lionel Messi and win trophies and make history at the club. And that is why Barcelona will always have the upper hand. Martinez's dream is to win trophies with Lionel Messi. And the best way to do that would be to go to FC Barcelona next season. So those were some very, very interesting details from 
from this report from Nico Shira. It's, it's going to be very interesting to see how all of this plays out. There will be clubs trying to bid for Martinez, but Barcelona will have that upper hand. That is it for today's Barcelona Daily News. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.